2000, uh, so about 12, um, 12 years ago, and it was very different then. Um, the internet was very slow, it wasn't available everywhere. Uh, we didn't have these smartphones that we have with us all the time. We have uh, uh, things more like that, and we didn't have that many of them either. It wasn't that common. It was about 30% market penetration at that stage. Um, we didn't need them either. We had uh, phone boxes in the pubs. And, uh, you know, um, that's, that's what it was like. So when I came here, I found it very difficult to um, keep contact with family and friends. It was, um, you know, it wasn't that, e that easy. It wasn't the same as today. There was no Gmail, no Facebook, no uh, uh, Skype. Um, if you wanted to phone home, you had to find uh, um, an internet cafe, or if you wanted to send an email, uh, you know, if you wanted an internet in your home, you had to wait for weeks for her come to uh, Berlin. So you get the picture. Things have changed and move on a lot. And uh, with those changes um, came a lot of opportunities. And um, um, one of the core changes was uh, how people access and use news. And that was the opportunity we took to um, start the journal that I. So um, let me ask you, how many of you have heard of the journal that I? OK, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, let's try a more difficult one. How many of you uh, would read the journal? Okay, that's not bad. Um, so for those of, of you that perhaps are not as familiar, um, we started publishing two years ago. Our second birthday was actually a couple of weeks ago. Um, and uh, we our neighbors, we're here. Um, I'm very lucky to work with a team of about 20 very talented people. And uh, we are particularly big in uh, social media. We probably have the biggest Irish media presence in social media. And uh, we are also big in mobile. Um, we are big with comments. We have about 2,000 comments every day. We reach about 300,000 um, um, uh, readers every day. And our um, mobile readership is uh, comparable, if not bigger, to some of the um, uh, main national newspapers distribution. Circulation, sorry, circulation. Um, so what's this about social news? Well, uh, there is a lot going on about social news and you know, user-generated content. What, what I mean by social news is, um, uh, I mean the experience of consuming news today. So how, how do we consume news today is, uh, is truly social. Um, digital technology has enabled us to, um, to take a much more active role in uh, news. Uh, we not just contribute our own take on it, but we also distribute it, and we distribute it in a big way. So publishing is available to practically everyone. Uh, with, a, with a, a device, a mobile phone, and an internet connection. Um, this, um, this is great. It allows us to uh, put our message out there. It let us uh, uh, spread news, the news we want. Um, the downside of it is um, it does generate uh, a massive volume. And uh, that brings the problem of, OK, what do we pay attention to? Like, we live busy lives. We have a limited amount of time, limited amount of attention. So how how can we um, prioritize what's important to us? And that's where uh, the social part becomes key. Uh, we tend to, um, to listen um, a lot more to the people who are close to us. And we create networks. We create networks, um, not just personal networks, uh, not just virtual networks, uh, um, you know, professional networks. And uh, we use those networks to access uh, information, in this particular case, news. We also use those networks to distribute news. And um, word of mouth is it's just a very power, powerful way for us to decide what we want to pay attention to. So this is why news today, consumption today is, um, is a social and collaborative experience. And uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, show you five characteristics of how we see uh, news. So the first one is we see it as uh, personalized. And uh, um, it's personalized because uh, it's no longer what an editor decides to is worthy of inclusion in a newspaper. 
it actually um, is much more and more uh, what a critical mass of uh, the people we listen to decides it's important to us. And this makes it much more personalized. And uh, let me just ask you, how many of you would share news through your virtual networks? Let's say through Facebook or Twitter or even email. Right, it's about half the room. Um, so that way you're. Uh, I'm sorry. How many of you would access to uh, news through Facebook or Twitter or email? Right, a little bit more. <laughs> um, so we, you know, we access our news uh, through these. Uh, we access and filter this uh, news through our networks. We contribute sometimes, probably a much smaller percentage, with um, commentary or uh, even sometimes with pictures um, or other media. Uh, we also assess and distribute through um, these social networks, and this is what makes um, news uh, not just personal but also participatory. And MOBA, which is the second characteristic that I wanted to bring up. And I know we were talking about MOBA just before this. Um, so again, with my questions, how, how many of you have a smartphone? Right. That's, that's the vast majority. And uh, how many would have uh, the journal.ie app in your smartphone? <laughs> but, OK. Uh, you know. <laughs> Um, so, you know, we can't get rid of these things. We have them with us all the time. We are connected all the time. And uh, we expect, therefore, uh, for news to be available anytime and anywhere. And uh, in our device of choice, you know, I may want to read on my desktop or on my phone or on my tablet. So uh, it needs to be available everywhere. And the experience needs to be consistent. Um, we, um, uh, the, I suppose the result of us having this all the time is that it speeds things up an awful lot. So digital distribution is fast by itself and it, it can travel really, really fast to, uh, really far, excuse me, too. It doesn't, because it doesn't have geographical boundaries. Uh, the boundaries are more dictated by our own interest and by the networks we participate in. So we expect um, uh, news not just to be fast and accurate, um, but we also expect them to be or to have uh, immediacy. If uh, we don't get what we want to get kind of pretty quickly and with a sense of immediacy, we're gone. Our attention is gone, which brings me to the next uh, characteristic, which is that um, information and news should be entertaining. Why make it hard? And um, that doesn't mean that we're going to dumb things down. It's not necessary. It just uh, means that uh, we're going to use the best media possible, being a picture or a video or words, written words or audio, uh, to deliver the message. So much the best media to the message. And uh, offer um, different levels of depth. Uh, you know, if I just want to get the the um, uh, bullets, um, get that. If I want to dive deeper, link, see a graphic, so on and so forth. So um, that makes it more entertaining. And uh, the second aspect that makes it more entertaining is uh, interaction, but interaction with a purpose. Um, so, you know, we have a the ones of you who use our comments, we have this thumbs up, thumbs down for comments, which <laughs> you'd be surprised how serious people take it. Uh, it's, it's a great, great, great way of interacting with commentary and, um, for, for the users who are not prepared to actually write something. So things like that really enhance the experience and make it a lot richer. Um, and the last one is um, how many of you would actually pay for the journal that I use? Right. <laughs> there you go. Um, we expect it to be free. We expect um, information to be free. And in a way, it makes sense, because there's so much of it. Why, why would we pay? And we're collaborating towards it. We're distributing it to start with. Um, so um, this brings some big challenges, uh, both to new and legacy media. You know, there is no tried and tested model um, in an ever-changing landscape. So uh, you need to be move carefully 
and uh, this probably goes against um, um, the idea of embracing change very quickly and very rapidly because it's risky. So at the Journal Dray, that's our office, um, we think of news as a collaborative and social experience in uh, which people filter, assess, react and distribute news through uh, their social networks. Uh, they access news at any time and anywhere from, um, through the device of choice and from the platform of choice. Um, they contribute their own stories, experiences and reactions uh, to events. And as a result, um, they make news a lot more interesting. Thank you. So, I don't know if we, is there time for questions now or? I have just one quick question. Yeah. I know you raised it here last time that it should be free. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask a cheeky question. Mm -hmm. How do you make your money then? Uh, through advertisement. Yeah. That's the, I think that's, so there are, there are two basic models. One is subscription, the other one is advertisement. Yeah. So you can say, oh, I'm in the advertising band, I'm in the subscription band. Yeah. Subscription, I think, would be very, very hard because of, you, you saw the reaction, you know, like 70% of, uh, of the room would read it, 0% would pay for it. Yeah. And Maybe, maybe, but you see, uh, it's not the unit. Let's say the unit that you're consuming is a piece of news. It's not a publication. It's not, you know, it's not ten pages of news. Exactly. So uh, then, what value do you put in that? Uh, you know, and it's much more valuable if it if it gets to you through your closest network. And if it ticks your interest, and if it allows you to be entertained, and if you can access it anywhere, and if you, you know, if you can contribute to it, mm -hmm. so it's very hard to to put a monetary value on that because it's not going to be consistent. The the unit is different. Mm -hmm. um, in my work, I, this is a personal opinion, by the way, uh, in terms of. Uh, um, subscription, I think in my work more for very, very niche uh, uh, information, being a uh, you know, particular financial information or legal information. Yeah, it, even at that, it's kind of difficult. Um, I think for the purpose of general news and uh, the general public, mm -hmm. uh, subscription would be very hard to justify. Um, I mean, a, a hybrid, the New York Times has a hybrid model in which, a meter model in which you can uh, uh, access a certain amount of news up to a point. I think The Guardian has something different, mm -hmm. something similar. And then you start paying. Uh, the Financial Times has a pure subscription mm -hmm. model. Um, uh, Boston Globe has uh, both, uh, has a free website and has a paid for. Um, there's, you know, there's tons of models and everybody's trying to figure <coughs> it out. And we don't have the answer. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. Thanks. So don't forget to download our mobile app. <laughs>